What would a nail have to do with a spice? A lot when it comes to cloves. They get their name from it. Clove from Clavus. This is the intriguing story of the nail-shaped spice named after the nail most associated with the tooth and toothache. Clove, long, lavanga, the spicy spice with an extraordinary history. Stained with blood, violence, greed on one hand, wisdom, courage, faith and healing on the other. It led humans across the world. खाने में एक अजब स्वाद आएगा उसका अच्छा स्वाद आएगा आप उसको शौक से खाएंगे a spice with its sweet spicy aroma a unique place in our lives culture and spice box health ka matter to baad mein aata hai pehle to sabhi ke taste buds uh, satisfy karne hote hain long ko vardhani kahunga ye do dhari talwar hai isko do dhari talwar kehte hai ki sahi padi तो दुश्मन का वध हो जाएगा और गलती से पड़ गई तो अपना नुकसान हो जाएगा देर इज एन ओल्ड सेंग द क्लोव ट्री विल नॉट ग्रो अनलेस इट सीज द माउंटेन्स एंड स्मेल्स द सी वी ट्रेवल टू अ प्लेस दैट हैज बोथ अलोंग द वेस्ट कोस्ट ऑफ इंडिया लाई द वेस्टर्न घाट्स द रोलिंग हिल्स running along the arabian sea a biodiversity hotspot a 1600 km stretch of green an astounding variety of life a cradle of spices cloves grow here evergreen trees slender gray bark glossy leaves that resemble bay leaves and on them grow the pink buds like little nails in pretty clusters sisigium aromaticum the botanical name for cloves not difficult to fathom sisigium means yoked together the nail like head made with the closed petals of the flower to be aromaticum is fragrant cloves are the unopened buds belonging to the myrtaceae family jitne bhi myrtaceae members hain ye sabse zyada flowers produce karne wale bunch mein aane wale flowers hai bunched buds the pungent and aromatic spice that changed world history are out in constant motion not just the motion that changes day to night winter to summer but deep within its belly forces that carve and shape the earth's surface on the equator lie the maluka islands born of volcanic eruptions and shifting plates the archipelago in eastern indonesia the spice islands cloves originated here Hundreds of years ago, in these idyllic tropical islands, lived the peace-loving natives. 
their lives linked to the aromatic spices that grew around them. Each time a child was born, they planted a clove tree. The well-being and health of their child linked symbolically to the life of the evergreen fragrant tree. But in the age of discovery, Europe in search of spices. When the Portuguese finally reached the island in 1512, they were quick to take control. Cloves were rare, expensive, desirable. Driven by greed, they destroyed all trees outside the two islands in their control. In fact, there was mass killing of people also who were trying to smuggle this clove and nutmeg from that region. Nearly 65,000 clove trees were destroyed. The peace of the Spice Islands shattered. A history soaked in blood. But cloves could not be contained. In the 18th century, it was the British who introduced clove plantations in India. The lush western carts with abundant rain and rich soil offered the perfect home. Cloves grow in the three southern states. This whole share is given on the ground and seasons. In the western carts, the mountains are the mountains. At the time, there are igneous rocks or volcanic eruptions. Very good amount of rainfall also. On Clove Trail, we travel to the picturesque Karwar district. Our destination, a clove farm at Sirsi. It's early February. Time to harvest cloves. We keep pace with the farmers. The buds, firm and fresh. Growing in bunches. Some green, others pink. Some have blossomed. अगर हार्वेस्टिंग मार्ड भी करें, अ गिड़ दले वन देर डो मग्गगड़ा आग बेको, अ मग्गा की दो अर्ल तदे, हु आग तदे दो, वन दो गिड़ दले ये लाव एक काल दले के हु आग उदिला। The blossoming of a few buds into flowers signals that cloves are ready to be plucked. Their pungency is now at its peak. Practiced legs take the farmer up. The trunk supports the weight. Each bunch is plucked by hand. A little twist, enough to break it off the stem. The little buds with firm, closed, round heads. When it will be closed, it will be closed in calyx, corolla. They are all closed in the form. When it will be open, the amount of volatile oil in the plant will be released in the plant. And that's why they are harvested in the plant and the plant. And that's why they are harvested very early before they are opening up. Buds that hold the pungent oils inside. It's a demanding job. The ladders fashioned out of bamboo that grows abundantly. The bunches picked methodically. Ladders and feet changing position. The air is aromatic, fragrant with the aroma of the spice. The whole plant has the aroma, the leaves, the stems, but it's the bud that is our spice. The trees start flowering sometime around the fifth year. Having grown from a seed, they flower each year for nearly 80 years. Each tree yielding 30 to 40 kilograms of cloves. For farmers, the day of harvesting is special, important. The year's labor, it's not just the quantity, but the quality. They examine the yield critically. Flowers with the white stamens peeping through. Their aroma, sharp, pleasant, pungent. A farmer's work is never done. In this winter month, there is a nip in the air. 
the freshly harvested areca being sorted by the grandfather. Life tuned to the rhythm of trees and their eels. Togobandu, Ameliadra, Totala Teribeku, Adana Togobandu, Adana Wonastin. Each bud is painstakingly separated from the stock. The bunch is gone, individual cloves separated. They need to be dried quickly and methodically. A woolen blanket, a thin layer of the green, fresh cloves, and just one day in the sun. Yak Bisinali did you even Murnak did the Pona one will very hakudilla until Karnaste Nerava the sunlight to be Davaga, oil contents Pona Ariho Burtu Akarn Dindava, one hunter the moisture down Agudu Bagagi, one day do Sadike Hakta. A day in the sun and a week in shade, drying changes the color, greens make way for deep reds and browns. Weight reduced to one third. Cloves, an ancient spice. Third century BC, China ruled by the Han dynasty. Anybody addressing the ruler in court was to chew Ding Xiang, cloves in Chinese, to sweeten their breath. A mark of honor, royalty in yester years. In kitchens today, cloves occupy a very special place. Their strong aroma, their pungent taste, a unique and must addition to many sweets and savouries. A sa savoury dish kadhi, a popular and loved dish in northern India. In Rajasthan, kadhi is never cooked without a few cloves. Kadhi to aapsilo besan nor dahi dalo ge, usse bhi ban jayegi. Aap long dalne se uska or flavored, wo pure kadi mein phail Ground floor, besan is also known to be difficult to digest. The knowledge and faith that traditional recipes are healthy is deep rooted. Long hum log jada hi use karte hain khana mein, kyunki iski taasir thodi garam hoti hai, taaki har chiz pachne mein bhi aasan rahe aur koi khushbu ek flavor bhi aaye. Cloves did not originate in India, but their use in food and as medicine dates back centuries. They find mention in the Charak Samhita. In Ayurveda, cloves have been called the most stimulating and carminative of all spices. Hot in taste, but cooling and soothing to the stomach. They were recognized as medicines for toothache, vomiting, asthma, colds, wheezing, bloating, and even nervous disorders. लवंग इसको हम लोग आयुर्वेद में देव कुस्म नाम से भी बता दे वो देव देवताओं के लिए प्रिय पुष्प सो देव कुसुम देव कुसुम अ हेवनली फ्लावर अ स्पाइस व्हेन इट इज द अनओपेंड बड अ स्पाइस विद एन अमेजिंग फ्रेग्रेंस एंड टेस्ट बेस्टोड विद मेडिसिनल पावर Flowers, the reproductive organs of plants, color to attract, fragrance to lure. Their color, smell and taste, shape and structure, each has evolved to catch the attention of insects and birds. Why would it suit a flower to be pungent, hot, spicy? Nature selects designs suited for survival. Clove flowers are no different. The immature bud is pungent, spicy, full of essential oils that deter and protect. But when the flower opens, the story is different. When it opens, the oil of the plant is inside of the petal and it will be released from the petal. And the nectar is pungent, it is sweet. And the insect goes to it. Cloves are used to the flower in the flower. Insects, the pollinators, lured to the flower with its sweet nectar. But humans sought the unopened buds. The aroma and taste 
appealed to their senses and intelligence. An ancient spice, they were being traded by the Arabs, carried as an expensive item of trade along the spice routes. The faith in cloves traversed nations, used as perfume, spice, preservative and medicine, so desirable that they rewrote history. It was cloves that spurred the Portuguese sailor Ferdinand Magellan to seek another sea route to the Spice Islands. The historic circumnavigation of the globe, a milestone in world history, driven by the desire to seek the source of spices. In 1522, Magellan's ship returned from its historic journey. Magellan was killed in Philippines in the Battle of Macton with a ship loaded with cloves and nutmeg, much to the delight of Spain. What is the truth of cloves? Is their power a myth or fact? What is their unique chemistry? Over the years, scientists have understood the molecules and its complex makeup. Not one, but a bouquet of chemicals, manufactured by the tree, stored in the buds. Up to 15% of clove content is its essential oil. The primary and dominant molecule is eugenol, nearly 70 to 85% of clove essential oil, known for its antibacterial and antifungal effect. It is also an anti-inflammatory and an aesthetic. Eugenol is also present in holy basil, Tulasi, but to a lesser extent. But clove is enriched in eugenol. Eugenol is probably the best antioxidant compound understood by man. Clove, with its burning flavour that cools the mouth but warms the body. The reason for the strong smell and taste is its content. Eugenyl acetate makes up nearly 15% of clove essential oil. Its spiciness and fragrance are a result of complex interplay of molecules. Beta caryophylline makes up another 5 to 12% of clove oil. A potent spice oil, recognized early. 14th century, the Great Plague threatened to wipe out populations. The then doctors wore masks stuffed with spices to keep disease at bay. But ruthless thieves mixed clove oil with other spice oils before robbing dead bodies. Thieves' oil was so effective that the power of cloves reigned supreme. Cloves in a meal cloves after a meal. The tradition to eat beet leaf with cloves has come to stay. A mouth freshener, a digestive, a pan, often incomplete without the spicy lavanga. Pan is a Ayurvedic thing. After eating it, it makes the strength of the body or the body of the body of the body. माउथ में प्रॉब्लम रहा तो वो केले हम सब पान खाई ली तो तनका देर जलन भी है लेकिन माउथ के अच्छा कर देगा पान। The spicy nail, universally associated with the tooth, using clove, whole or powdered, or its oil in toothache is a common practice. The bony tooth, covered with a strong enamel, a hardy structure, but in a place prone to bacterial infections. Once the acid damages the enamel, tooth infection spreads to the inner parts and gums. The result, sensitivity, cavities, swelling and an explosion of pain. It is in toothache that cloves have been used as popular home remedy. Does it really work and how? What does modern medicine say about cloves? Do they help or harm the tooth? लॉन्ग के तेल में एक खासियत है कि 
इसके अंदर जलाने की ताकत है सारे बैक्टीरिया को खत्म कर देगा टिश्यू को एनेस्थेटाइज कर देगा एनेस्थेटाइज द टिश्यू सो नो पेन इट इवन स्ले बैक्टीरिया so controls infection dentists use a mixture of zinc oxide with eugenol as a temporary filling for cavities under treatment even the characteristic smell of a dental clinic is from eugenol but home use of clove oil has its own risks a matter of concern पेशेंट हमारे पास आने में देर कर देते हैं आज तो हम दांत को बचा सकते थे लेकिन वो दांत मर जाने की वजह से दांत के अंदर टिश्यू नहीं रहने की वजह से तब लौंग का तेल क्या कुछ भी काम नहीं करता उस वक्त हमें शायद दांत निकालना ही पड़ सकता है पेन इज अ सिम्टम क्लोव ब्रिंग टेम्पररी रिलीफ मोर ओवर इन करेक्टली यूज क्लोव ऑयल कैन बर्न टिश्यू एंड डेड इन दूथ making treatment ineffective bhartiya itihas mein isko hamare vaidyo ne us samay pehchana tha jab duniya ne long ko pehchana nahi tha jab eugenol ke bare mein unko samajh nahi thi hamare ayurved ke vaidyo ne to tabhi isko samajh liya tha cloves traverse the gap between modern allopathy and traditional ayurveda dant bindu an ayurvedic medicine for tooth infections a blend of spice oils used in a precise manner a word of caution comes from ayurvedic practitioners too par use plain use nahi karna chahiye use koi to oil mein mila ke use karna chahiye to usko til ke tel ya apna jo coconut oil hota hai usme thoda mix karke cotton gauze mein aap karke wo wahan rakh sakte hain the bottom line died over pain but seek professional help in today's world the scientific community is able to peer deeper clove oil has revealed another interesting molecule 2 heptanone a molecule also found in the honey bee when they bite it is like anesthesia the enemy is paralyzed by the sting a molecule common to a medicinal spice and an insect for scientists working in a lab eugenol is a molecule of interest but also use clove oil is used as a clearing agent in all biology labs a drop of clove oil on a prepared slide ensures a clear image of tissues and cells festivals a time to celebrate the bounties of nature to offer gratitude part of faith and belief systems fragrant spices like clove occupy an important place in rituals and customs many with foundation in practical utility और एक चीज क्लव की है टेम्परिंग ऑफ स्वीट थिंग्स लाइक साखर भात और दे नारी भात वी से दैट इज कोकोनट राइस दिस राइस द कीपिंग क्वालिटी ऑफ द राइस इज इंक्रीज सो दीज ऑल थिंग्स कम फ्रॉम आर एंसिस्टर्स स्पाइसेस सिंबलाइज विस्टम इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन नॉलेज अक्वायर्ड बाय ट्रायल एंड एरर for beauty fragrance health and sensory pleasure cloves are center stage a spice that will continue to rule the kitchens and lives na 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 na